Good morning. Good morning. Mm -hmm. uh, Sunday school lesson that you'd like to do. Uh, we're still in Ezekiel. Ezekiel. The Indiana Apple. What in that Daniel? Ezekiel chapter 34. 1 through 16 is our scripture for the Sunday school lesson. Let me find it here. So that the deal is in Sunday school lesson is it that the Heavenly Father should support me a lot in a Father, you know the ones that are here today, Lord. Father, I pray that you would confront us with your word for your praise, for your glory, for your honor. Jesus, Bishop, and not your planet. Amen. Um, Ezekiel chapter 34, 1 through 16. I'll read it through in English, and then each, as we go to each section, we'll read it in Navajo um, and make our way back through. In English, it says, 34, 1 through 16. And the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Son of man, prophesy against the shepherds of Israel. Prophesy and say to them, Thus says the Lord God to the shepherds, Woe to the shepherds of Israel who feed themselves. Should not the shepherds feed the flocks? You eat the fat and clothe yourselves with the wool. You slaughter the fatlings, but you do not feed the flock. The weak you have not strengthened, nor have you healed those who were sick, nor bound up the broken, nor brought back what was driven away, nor sought what was lost, but with Force and cruelty, you have ruled them. So they were scattered because there was no shepherd. And they became food for all the beasts of the field when they were scattered. My sheep wandered through all the mountains and on every high hill. Yes, my flock was scattered over the whole face of the earth, and no one was seeking or searching for them. Therefore, you shepherds, hear the word of the Lord. As I live, says the Lord God, surely because my flock became a prey, and my flock became food for every beast of the field, because there was no shepherd, nor did my shepherds search for my flock. But the shepherds fed themselves and did not feed my flock. Therefore, O shepherds, hear the word of the Lord. Thus says the Lord God, Behold, I am against the shepherds, and I will require my flock at their hand. I will cause them to cease feeding the sheep. The shepherds shall feed themselves no more. 
For I will deliver my flock from their mouths, that they may no longer be food for them. For thus says the Lord God, Indeed I myself will search for my sheep and seek them out. As a shepherd seeks out his flock on the day he is among his scattered sheep, so will I seek out my sheep and deliver them from all the places where they were scattered on a cloudy and dark day. And I will bring them out from the peoples and gather them from the countries and will bring them to their own land. I will feed them on the mountains of Israel, in the valleys and in the, in, in the inhabited places of the country. I will feed them in good pasture and their fold shall be on the high mountains of Israel. There they shall lie down in a good fold and feed in rich pasture on the mountains of Israel. I will feed my flock and I will make them lie down, says the Lord God. I will seek what was lost and bring back what was driven away. Bind up the broken and strengthen what was sick. But I will destroy the fat and the strong and feed them in judgment. Dehin Ezekiel Yashtiko Baashchiniya Yashtiko He's talking about his children, the children of Israel, his people. He's calling, calling them his sheep. <laughs> he had placed people in authority to look after his people, the, the children of Israel. God had established things for them, the, 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 the proper way of, of good leadership. He had established that through the Ten Commandments, the Old Testament. He established how Israel was supposed to live and honor God and then their leaders were supposed to do the same thing. But that wasn't happening. We saw king after king fail and lead the people astray into worshiping other idols, other so-called gods. <laughs> they took the children of Israel, who they had charge over. They were supposed to be shepherds for them. They were supposed to watch over them and guide them and, and show them this is the way you, you live with God. This is how God expects his children to live. They weren't doing that. And so God is addressing the shepherd. He calls them shepherds of, of the sheep. And the sheep are Israel. His chosen people. He had called them. And he said, you're my people. And he gave them ordinances, ways to live. And the people around didn't quite understand. <laughs> they couldn't grasp the ways, the grasp the ways of God. What he required of his people. They couldn't understand it. And so... A lot of their, the things that God had chosen for them, they abandoned and just followed, followed, followed other people, their ways, their doings. They, they, they weren't, they weren't uh, being properly taught and cared for. They weren't corrected. Obeniti, the the peo. Today, as, as Christians, we, we, we place our lives in this God that, that is spoken of, taught in the Old Testament. The same God, the God of Israel, that's who we trusted in and placed our lives in mm -hmm. his hand. And so 
He wants to, the church to understand you just can't live any old way and expect God to really bless your life. God that and you know where the responsibility starts? <laughs> starts with me as your spiritual leader. And because these people, the, the leaders of Israel, they weren't following God. They weren't living according to what he had established. According to his ordinances, the things that God had established and told them to live, they weren't living by it. And that leaders were leading the sheep astray. We kind of know what sheep do, huh? <laughs> As Navajos. Hello, I can't not say. Oh, I can't. I can't. I can't. You know, we've seen them. They just follow. They just follow. One of them will lead, will, will go in a certain direction, and then everybody else just follows right along. And that's so much us, huh, as a yes. church. We just follow along. Oh, I can't go need And God looks at the leaders and he says, you failed as shepherds. You just take advantage of my people, my sheep. You leaders, you're the ones that are just taking advantage of the sheep. You're, you're eating the fatted ones, the ones that are fat, you're eating them and then you're taking their wool and you're making clothes for yourself. You're, you're just looking out for yourself. Church. What is it we hear? We hear that so and so as a pastor had to step down because he was caught in doing something that wasn't right. Or we hear in the news about how maybe a pastor might have taken advantage of a of a young child. We hear that. It's high time we go back to the scriptures and see what God, when he looks down on us, when he examines our lives, what does he see? How are we conducting our lives? God <laughs> And it begins with the leaders. God is speaking directly to the leaders. You better get your act together. You better honor this true and living God that, that you, you say you worship. He's confronting them. Let's read it now, 1 through 4. The pattern of poor leaders. That first section. 
خواست نه ده شا ایش ده آتا اخن ขัดสนองท่าเอออาดอขัดสนองท่าตาอืมเตอืมเตอืมเตอืมเตอืมเตอืมเตอืมเตอืมเตอืมเตอืมเตอืมเตอืมเตอืมเตอืมเตอืม
They share their viewpoints, their thinking. They don't go back to the Word of God, which, which, which feeds the children of God, the sheep of God. We need to get to a place where even our leaders share the word of God and not veer off into something else. The yin bizad ig yisi bin na ni tin do le yen do da zhe ha sho de ida. That's what was happening with Israel, God's children. this week I had to examine my life and I think I have. This God that we're serving, He examines even the leaders. He doesn't just let them slide. He doesn't just let them do whatever they want to do. There is accountability to this true and living God. This is the God that we're serving. Yes. Odanes Kahan. Ashodanes Kahan. だべつにやだぜおばたよねあべさんだかやだぜどんなだべとねあべさんこんだてつだおにひにけあどはだてんだくらだじゃね<笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> And this week I had to deal with it in my life. And he shows how That attitude of self-preservation on the hit of shit, a yat, it needs in go on the hit, a dancy case, all the higgy, 
as leaders, as Christians, as, as believers. See, there's a difference in the mindset of, 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 the, of, of people at large in our world. This worldly living. They say, oh, look out for yourself. Make sure you get ahead. But as believers, there's a trusting in God and, and living according to what pleases Him. There's a different way of living. Satit ego ina. Ndatilia. Ede insitene. Di yen bet an nini gipik eko hene nadole. Beden ko ha ine. Sha ek chene shite be. Sha ba ek so. And it's not just a physical thing, but a spiritual thing. Mm -hmm. The things of God, the spiritual things of God are unseen. They're in the spiritual. And the word of God in that realm is food for the believer. Are we living out, are we sharing, are we providing the food that's necessary for his sheep? to thrive and to be healthy spiritually. I think it was on. Look at it. The number should be coming up. Yeah, it's on. Um should the band my sheep, my people, they're all scattered. Why? Because the shepherd was negligent. They weren't doing their duty. They weren't doing what was right in the sight of God. They weren't doing, they, they weren't pleasing God in their conduct. And that's true today. In our country, there are Christians that are failing the children of God. Beginning with even our political leaders. God's going to hold those leaders accountable. Get, I guarantee it. God's not going to just let it slide. He's not just going to let it go. Because a lot of people, their lives are going to be destroyed. A lot of people are going to suffer because of the political leadership in our country.
That's the God that we're serving. We think that, oh, it doesn't matter. Yes, it does matter. It matters to God. And it's time that we begin to think about it. That's the poor leaders. Abit e. Iketa dist in abit e ya ye nasikha. And from what he's saying, from what he's saying, God is saying they're taking advantage of the sheep. The bear, the bear, the haliado, the yen, a pitchko, it da haliya. This is our plan. But it nego, it's in a cacko. So, oh, yeah, that's it. Should not end it. Ah, ah, Be a panaz, ye nante. End it, need it. In the end, in the the latest fashions, the the and that's what God is opposed to taking advantage of his children. All the yin bachinia be nasty dato be di tigi e dobish anida dobish yat eta. And he shows that. Ah, di ga got eight to dach ki straight from its rechat zi. First four verses. Let's go five through ten. Did they catch it? A co ba atahos yani ki atten atten go benina tot haus kai. Ado Nan Glossy Dahashke Tarts for Yitch it Yitchy Yak Dazli Zit Arts for Nas nilgo arot ash tsko. Da wokhako in da na neho ka neho ka ge ash tsko go shitepe tauskhe. Ado shetepe Ako shetepe 
Hayde not hali in the Hayde dal inhi in atenko binina Nas zant a nahis a nt e bekako ashkoskhe E pa nihe dien dene E pa nihe dene dene Pa ata hofiani bohol nihi an anne Anni desos sa bohol nihi dien gan konne Tidat a a ni hinishna Akut ego shidibbe Nidinosh cheshko bish Bilti do do dih Daz leigi Ado te beh ya akhaliyani Adde nigi bini na Nal dloshi dahash keit a ashts ho Papetolga Apit e ta iya ado te peh e ta ado. Ya, ya nish tso ta. Ado ya da is tso ta. E pa te peh pa ata hul pa ata hul yani. Bohol nihi an anini da dot i. Bohol nihi di in gaad konne. Jo de be ya adah niyani tzidab bik ejit nishli. Ado shi de be. Shaan ndas dor nil inda te beto te beto pa pata to pata pata jil soko akho te shlil akho te be pa ata hosyan pa ata jil Jiliani, the Beba, Ako Jiliani. Dot O Achin. Do Achin does it sit at all. Shit the Beh, do. Do Hachi Yata. Do lehiki bini ye Haze do Hadish nil Di ye ne Wa ye ne ego It's not the spiritual leader It's not their sheep Do hukwa de beta Do no hukwa ne Got eh Di ye ne ego 
God sees his children as his sheep, not the leaders. <laughs> and he brings that out for sure. I think a lot of people think that, that the church or the people in the congregation are theirs to do whatever they want to do. No. You're just an overseer. You're just overlooking. You're just taking care of the sheep. God's sheep. And he makes that perfectly clear. <laughs> God looks out for his sheep, the ones that are his. That's how God sees it. We're just shepherds for Him. We don't own the sheep. God owns the sheep. As spiritual leaders. We're not to take advantage of them. We're not to mistreat them. We're walk, working on behalf of God. That His children are His sheep. We got to realize that. That's the wrong attitude. <laughs> Why? Because they don't have the leader isn't in tune with the things of God. When, when a spiritual leader has nothing to offer to the sheep, they're going to wander off. You see, that's why as spiritual leaders we need to understand that we are taking care of God's sheep. And that's what he specifically says in his word. So they were scattered because there was no shepherd. There's no, there was no living out the things of God. The in God, the sheep are scattered. the 
and they become food for all the beasts of the field. The peh yitod lakasi yitch eya otas li tsonila. The Christian got a what the net. Don't the bed up with your zipper. Ha la hot eh. How many of God's children have just been scattered a lot. and become prey? A lot. Oh, they sleep, or all. O o da be the steen go. Don be da ko ya zinda. They become food for the wild animals, the wild beasts of the field. And then he's this is God speaking to 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 the spiritual leaders and he says my flock should the be <laughs> God says should the be mm -hmm. mm -hmm. the congregation, the believers, the sheep, God sees them as his sheep, yeah. his flock, was scattered over the whole face of the earth, and no one was seeking or searching for them. See, that's what was happening in Israel. God's children were being neglected. They were just being, being let go, sent off. They were running off, being scattered, being run off. Being tormented. And no, none of their leaders were seeking them out to making sure that they were still okay, that they were still good. Therefore, you shepherds, hear the word of the Lord. As I live, as long as I live, God says, and he lives, he's going to live forever. <laughs> so this is a forever thing. Says the Lord God, surely because my flock became a prey and my flock became food for every beast of the field because there was no shepherd. Nor did my shepherds search for my flock, but the shepherds fed themselves and did not feed my flock. Oh, Adi, Rahakon, Sada, Kiss. Should the Baba Ada have yard or this, but the sneak or Nenele? Abedea, Adi, Rahakon, Sada, Kiss, or ye cockobinina. We don't realize the role that we play as, as spiritual leaders, as, as pastors. For, uh, I'm talking to myself. The Word is talking to me. In God, with the best. And we got to take that responsibility seriously and not make excuses. Verse 9, Therefore, O shepherds, hear the word of the Lord. Thus says the Lord God, Behold, I am against the shepherds, 
and I will require my flock at their hand. You see, if we neglect our responsibility in the sight of God, He says, I'm going to remove the sheep that I placed in your care. Thus says the Lord God, Behold, I am against the shepherds. That's a terrible place to be. For God to be against you. You see, that's the gravity of this responsibility that's placed on the spiritual leaders. As spiritual leaders. And we don't want that. I will cause them to cease feeding the sheep. And the shepherds shall feed themselves no more. Ah, hu, ah, di, rahako, di, di, danes, akobane, hoste, kayen, katsmaj, kodesh, li, tonila. See, God is serious about taking care of his sheep, it's not a light matter. We kind of have a taste of, of what it is to care for sheep. Mm -hmm. Because our parents would get on to us about playing around or losing the sheep. <laughs> God is the same way. <laughs> As spiritual leaders. We have a responsibility in the sight of God to to, to feed the sheep, his flock. Otherwise, he's going to turn against us. He's going to be against us. And they will no longer feed themselves. I will deliver my flock from their mouths. She did bet. Hazedo had a snake. Oh, which is not the art art, he had one to look at him. That they may no longer be food for them. This is the God that we serve. The setting was the children of Israel. But he's the same God that we gave our, our lives to. Yes, this passage is from Ezekiel, from the Old Testament, and he's talking specifically about the children of Israel, but yet that message still applies to us as believers, D.G. And as spiritual leaders, the ones that are supposed to be feeding the sheep of God, caring for the sheep, need 
And God won't just let it go. He's not going to let it slide. Akut ego has agwa. Depehe othauka. Opeho zita. Akutza. Inna. God pulled these religious leaders, these so called religious leaders, to himself. And he told them this. Eleven through sixteen, the promise of a good leader. <laughs> Let's look at that. Then they catch it. Eleven. Chada bohot nehi digin God kone a she she te pe. Chadenesh tchachko. Betcha. Didesh ink. Draw a con. Ta de pe. Ya achadiani. Bet de pe. Tros kreko. Days in inky at ego, a quit ego, she the pe had nished half. Oh, she the pe had a cock os the look Chahot head yen da a pitjin a pitjin da so go toss kay yen de yen de to de e e yen de Yistana Hidesh Nishina. Oh, in the in the Tatene Petrate Ado Keda Keda Yate as An in this leaf or art be bekeya be in this nest. Ado Israel the net bezeal Naz Naz Nilgo bezeal Naz Nilgo. Oh, to. Hadaz Lindego in that the ne Keda had ego Tat e Ba Banas Soto. Art eh, art eh, bandas soto. Chill, yil age. Das chosdo. Zechante, chill, yil ago, e. Da bi da bi e da bi ko a kui da chosdo a kui chil yil age na 
Israel Because the leaders had failed. They had failed at their duty, at their post. They had just let the, the sheep go. And he said, I will be the one that will tend to my sheep. I will gather them. I will seek them out. I will find my sheep. What a wonderful God. Yes. <laughs> 
This God, He's concerned about you today. God He's interested in, in what goes on in your life. He wants to provide for you. He wants to feed you on the choices of food. The best way you learn, okay? If they're not, do do e yanar yizgo ko, but for days yet go in peace, they will lay down and then they will not ah. They're still doing their thing. And it only happens when they're calm, when they know they're safe. When we when he sees that we're that we're comfortable, bide or anne ah shini he kitten she dolly. Ah she na ha hashiad oli. Nan what go the che na hot ego tse and che na hot ego hadat ego and dish in an dish leaf on it. See that's the God that we're serving today. Amen. This God that you can rest assured that you're going to dwell in safety. What comforting words. You wait, eh, what the yin, what eh, on the half ones then? This God he says, I will feed my flock. I will make them lie down. <laughs> that reminds me of the 23rd Psalm. David, God, <laughs> See, that's the God that we can that we can know in this way. Ah, you will rest assured that this true and living God is looking out for you. Yes. You're his sheep. You're his flock. Amen. Eating in bada, they get on, but they eat. 
That's the God that we serve. God will protect and care for people even when their leaders do not. <laughs> Session goal is our outcome is to be aware of the hope we have in the light of the ways in which God shepherds us. He's the one that calls us his sheep, his flock. We can rest assured he's got our best interest in mind. We can rest in hope that he is going to look out for us. That's the God that we gave our lives to. Let's learn to walk with him. Because he's the one that calls us our, he calls us his sheep. Just give your life to him once more. Just let him know I'm yours. I'm your sheep. That was our lesson for today. Thank you. Yeah.